everyone, my name's Emily. This is my 17-year-old Arabian named William. I'm here to talk to you about coat defense and some equine skin issues that you might be dealing with like I have in the past. Bill here, since I got him when he was four years old, has been prone to an array of skin problems. One of the main ones we deal with is mud fever in the fall and spring. In the summer, he'll get sweet itch and he'll get a lot of bug bites. I've spent a lot of mornings and evenings tending to these things, washing them, scrubbing them, putting on different products, anything from diaper rash ointment to mouthwash. We all hear it. It comes from all sorts of different horse owners. Try this, try that. And unfortunately, none of it ever seems to work for me. I was really excited when about two years ago, I discovered Coat Defense. And the reason I was really pumped about these products is because I could read all the ingredients on the label, which is really rare to come by these days. I was curious how it worked so I spoke to founders, Zena, Zandi, and Vince, and found out that it dries up the food source that bacteria and fungi feed on. So this isn't a harsh chemical that you're putting on their skin that's killing this bacteria or fungi, whatever's causing the skin issue. It's actually just drying it out so it has nothing to feed on. So here at Coat Defense, we get quite a few questions about our paste and our powder. A lot of people ask, well, which one do I use? So if you have any open wounds or scabs, Something where the skin is broken, you can go ahead and throw a paste on and it'll help resolve any of those. The cool thing about the powder is, is a preventative. So you can use this to stop things like itching, rubbing under blankets, under saddle pads. You can actually use this on yourself, start it as a human deodorant company. You can use it on your dog for hot spots, itchiness, if they're smelly, things like that. You can go to the website and see a whole list of every use because there's a lot of them. So, if you're like me and you've been dealing with skin issues nonstop with your horse, your dog, or yourself, and you want some good relief, go ahead and check out Coat Defense and check out our stories after this to see people like you and me who've been using it. Hi, Patty. How are you? Fine, thanks. Patty, do you, um, can you tell me why you like Coat Defense? Well, I bought Coat Defense because I, I saw it online. It was recommended. My donkey had lost all of the fur on the front of his chest. I don't know yet what was wrong with him, if it was some kind of fungal or what he had. But I used the Coat Defense and... The powder or the paste? Actually, I used the paste. Oh, you used the paste. I used the paste Wait, on this him. paste? I used this paste. <laughs> and I would say what? In a week, he started growing his hair back. And what would, you, what would you have done otherwise if you didn't have the Coat Defense? Would he still not have hair? Probably would have had to call the vet. And how much, how expensive would that have been? A lot more than this. Yay! And, and this is Catherine. Yes. We are Facebook friends and we are finally meeting. Thanks. Thank, nice to meet yes, you. Nice Thanks for coming too. by. And tell me about I why you like Coat Defense. both products. I use the Coat Defense. I have a 29 year old gelding who has a little bit of Cushing's insulin resistance. So he gets rain rot on his back anytime it rains, rain sheet or not. I sprinkle the coat defense on the top of it and work it in with my fingers and it clears it right up. Same thing for the scratches on the back legs. The, uh, you use the powder for scratches, not the paste? I've used both. Okay. Depends, yeah. Um, I also use the coat defense in my trailer to make it smell better. I sprinkle it in the bedding and I sprinkle it on my saddle pads I think I between washings. Oh, you have you know what? Is. Do you know it came from a human deodorant? So okay. it is, it's an accidental product, we're not horse people. <laughs> so if you put it, if you're stinky under your arms, it'll dissipate odor on contact. You can use it at, for a jacket. You can use it for acne. Is this all still being recorded? This is all still being recorded. <laughs> I, yeah. I use the paste, I've used the paste on my German Shepherd's hot spots, which you choose hot spots. Hi Paige, can you tell me why you like Coat Defense so much? Well, for one reason, my entire farm, six horses of my own, and three of my boarders, there is no rain rot on my farm at all for the first time ever. It's super easy to use. You can't overuse it. You can't underuse it by any means. And everyone can use it. My dog, me, my horse. It's so versatile. What do you use it for for yourself? For, my, <laughs> for myself, I put it in my helmet, my boots, and in my bra for boot sweat. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> now, what about your dog? How do you use My it on dog, your dog has hot spots and he's really, really horrible to bathe. Like, he's 60 pounds, but he's really strong and can drag me straight out of the tub. So instead of hassling and killing myself with my dog, I just sprinkle it on and I scrub it in and I use the paste on his hot spots and it's much better. Right, it works. Mm hmm. 
So what about at your barn? Like, are, are you telling everyone about it? Or Oh, yes. The boarders, the students, and the students where I drive to, remote, they all know about it. Great. And we're spreading the word and growing the family. Thank you so much, Paige. I'm so appreciative. And I'm so glad that um, our products are helping. They're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, Paige. <laughs> Um, for helping us out at Coat Defense today. I was wondering why you like the products. Well, I had a gelding whose mane was, the, fall, the hair was falling out. So I shook the Coat Defense powder. Wait, this powder right here? Yes, this powder, <laughs> shook it on his mane. Uh, it took about a week and the hair started growing back. It's also good for the dew poisoning. My guys are out in a field that gets wet overnight and they were developing the little sores yeah. so i shook this on every day for about a week and the sores just disappeared thank you so i also like putting it underneath the saddle pad to help absorb the moisture as a preventative mm -hmm. yeah. oh that is so great thank you for coming by and um reaching out and telling me how much you like the products i'm Love so this appreciative stuff. thanks <laughs> hi my name's anissa i wait, wait okay go ahead I bought the coat defense because my mare had a bad rash underneath her um, armpits. So I applied this, it was some kind of fungus, had no idea what it was, tried all other types of um, product in the past, had this on literally for one week and the fungus completely disappeared. Great, great, great product. Do you use the paste too? I use the paste, it was the paste. That oh, was that the paste. was the paste. Yep. And then I use the powder. Yep, I use what the powder. What do you powder. use the powder for? Um, after every time that I get off, in fact, I just put powder on my mare right now because she's white and it makes her look a little bit whiter after the saddle stains um, and then just gets all the grime off.